I'd like to tell you about the new guidance for imaging in cases of suspected physical abuse published by the Royal College of Radiologists. There's been a great deal of new research and evidence published in this area. And together with our colleagues from the Society and College of Radiographers and the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health, we've looked at all that evidence and incorporated it into a concise guidance for use in radiology departments. As medical professionals, our first and foremost duty is for the protection of the child. But we must also understand what an incredibly difficult time this is for families. And imaging staff of all grades are anxious to do the best possible job and to make sure that the whole experience is as easy as possible for children and their families. Important changes to the new document are the inclusion of more views both for the initial skeletal survey and for follow-up imaging. The increased use of sedation is discussed and we have suggested that CT is considered for diagnosis of rib fractures in difficult cases. As far as neurological imaging is concerned, it is suggested that MRI of the spine is included with cranial MRI, as there is new evidence in this area. The new guidance gives a step-by-step -step guide of what to do from the moment you think that investigation may be necessary. It provides templates for parent and carer information, for consent forms, for standard operating procedures, forms about exactly which views need to be done. The idea is that it'll provide a toolkit for your department and you can be reassured that if you use this, you're sticking to best possible practice. I would encourage you to look this up and incorporate it into your own practice.